Try to get a good position on it. This guy's gonna slow me down, isn't he? Oh, I wish I could have dove on him. I'm doing it. Oh! We got her. What an overtake in the carousel. Link and cashback code in the description. False rap, I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? What is going on everybody? Welcome back today guys to the channel back here Gran Turismo Sport with yet another episode man Huge thank you on your continued support on this series. I've been loving Gran Turismo Sport a lot We have the Fnatic CSL Elite wheel back for yet another episode and today we're taking a look at two special cars from version 1.13 on the newest update. The first episode that we were here, we took a look at Dayo Shihara's BRZ. Thing was an absolute beast. Now, I am gonna redrive that for this weekend for you guys, and uh, I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's the battle of the V8s today, man. We got the Mustang Mach 1 going against the Challenger RT. Nice little battle, Ford versus Dodge. Who do you think is gonna take it home today, man? We're not really doing, you know, head-to-head -head testing. I get that. But today it's just about driving them, seeing how they feel stock, maybe upgraded as well too, and going from there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to keep seeing more Gran Turismo Sport, don't forget to slap that like button. I've decided to do something pretty damn crazy for today. We're on the Nuremberg ring once again on the Nordschleife. Uh, we got a one-make race, man. We have 20 challengers on the track, ready to go head-to-head. -head. I have no idea what's going to happen. I figured this is the best-case scenario uh, just to have the most amount of fun and to even top it off. We're starting in the far back for today, man. Really excited. Let's go. Now let's see how we do for today, man. That plum crazy purple, though, looks fantastic. There's a lot of colors from this, actually. I was gonna go with the uh, subline. That's like a nice little green to it. But uh, we decided to go with this one here. Purple, man. Dark purple looks beautiful to me. Not a lot of cars can rock it, but the Challenger definitely can get away with it. Now, we got to remember, we're heavy as shit, man. We're like 3,300 pounds right now. Not the easiest thing to be... Rem oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Just going to go ahead and get by this, man. You're dangerous, sir. Topped out a lot faster than I was expecting. Excuse me, that was not a damn tap. Come on. Look at this man, go. Oh my goodness. Damn grandma could drive fast on this. All right, move aside, appreciate it. I'm afraid we're gonna, yeah, 109 we're topping out at. Not good. Woo! Are you, I just probably nicked that damn rear end. Suspension feels pretty solid though, I'm not gonna lie. It's very soft, but it's yet forgiving. Once we get into these corners though, I mean, you guys can see it just grabbing. Probably was not the best idea for this car considering we're topped out at 111. Cannot go any faster than that. It's okay though, these guys are just giving it, eh? They're probably not even in fourth gear yet. Oh yeah. See again, I wasn't in gear, I was literally in neutral sliding that whole damn corner. That's so stupid. Put me in gear, man, please. I don't have shifting problems any other game. It's the only game I have shifting problems with. Back. Tenth position though, not bad for the first little chunk of this. Let's maybe go into a little bit of third person. Let's just explore this game a bit. It's been a while since I played third person on GT Sport. And yeah, okay, that happens right away. Hey, eh? appreciate it. Yep. Wow, this thing really tops out fast. Imagine having a damn gearbox limited to 111. Woo! I'll take it. 
And I said, the car is very good, man. We have a really wide wheelbase at the back. Wow. We're four minutes in. We're gaining. We're gonna be in first place in no time. Gotta say though, it's really cool to see this car in Gran Turismo Sport. We are boxed in. We got that full detailed interior as well. I don't know if it was detailed in uh, GT6 or not. We're going wide right here. Oh my god. I'd definitely love to maybe check this out in VR soon. We'll just slide on through. The first VR bit that I did though, didn't get as much of a response as I was expecting to be honest. I don't know if it was just the thumbnail was really bland, I don't know, but I'll definitely do it again. It was fun. Oh shit. I got it, I got it, I got it. Woo! I say we should be able to hold everything with this. I was wondering what that was on the right. Is that in a damn antenna? That antenna is huge, man. It's right on my map. Looks like it's going right through it. Can't wait for this thing to hit the carousel. See how much uh, it can take. These guys are slow and they're on the hardest difficulty. Like this is, I thought they were gonna be way faster. All right, here we go, first carousel inbound. Try to get a good position on it. This guy's gonna slow me down, isn't he? Oh, I wish I could have dove on him. I'm doing it. Oh! We got her. What an overtake in the carousel. That was probably one of the cleanest overtakes I've ever seen on my carousel runs. Not bad. This car is a lot of fun. If you know what you're doing with it, you can get it out a bit. Why is this guy's blinker on? Look at him. What are you doing? That's the AI too. We're just gonna literally drift side next to him. Yep, okay. Not bad for stock settings. All right, got the carousel coming up. It's been a lot of fun to drive this car. Just old, it's big. It's got power. Get sideways, man, I love it. Obviously, it's one of my dream cars, so that definitely does help. Huge fan of muscle cars. You guys wanna leave me your dream cars down below. Let me know, we're coming around in speed. Oh, I corrected too much, yep. We gotta see that carousel run one more time. That was, uh, that was fun, man. That was definitely different. Like, lots of speed. These guys just didn't want to max out the car. I, I don't understand why, but I figured I'd do it though. Look at the guy back there, can't even hold it. Right here, we're in a nice little pack. Too wide coming in some of those. I had my four ways on that whole time. I just realized that. It's kind of funny. All right, this is it right now coming up. I did not want to get stuck behind a slow car in the carousel because I wanted to really push it. Look at that. Jeez, what a maneuver! And we held it. If we didn't have that tire catch the front of the track right there, I don't think we would have saved that. But we had that extra suspension being held up, and I think it just let us keep our angle through that. One more time, though. That was nuts. What a dive in, though, just to hold that front end in. Damn, man. Switch on over to the Mustang Mach 1. Both V8s, man. It's a battle of the V8s today. 3,500 pounds, so it's a little bit lighter, a little bit less horsepower. Now, the key to this that I want you guys to remember, this is not about, you know, a faster car. This is about overall how the car feels and just, you know, how it's going to be in the corners, maybe a little bit of top speed, power to weight ratio, will it kick sideways, just an overall feel for the car. Uh, so we're going to see how we do for today. Again, we're going to leave everything stock four gears as well and let's see uh what this tops out at here on the norch life oh, man i love this track hopefully you guys enjoy it as well and don't get bored of seeing it i mean to be honest though how could you get bored of the norch life oh, right i mean that's all i'm saying right now 
interior looks nice. I'm still in first. Yep, yeah, okay, thank you. I'm looking for a little bit more controllability in this, considering, of course, less horsepower. Of course not. We can still kick it, though. We go nice and easy with these gears. A little inside. There we go. Slow it down. And I'll just slide into gear, man. That's all. Let's grab our line back. Oh, you're going to really do that, eh? Ugh! I forgot, though. We're on the tourist section, right? I mean, let's just pretend we're on the tourist section. You can't pass on your right. That's all I'm saying, all right? We did an illegal move. I'm sorry. I'm restarting it. I don't know why these guys are so damn slow, though. Look at it. Like, why are you breaking? You don't need to break. Amateur hour out here, man. Oh my god. Almost lost her. I'm setting up. Just use that inside. Appreciate it. At all costs, we gotta get to the front. So far, I feel like I'm doing a little bit better in the Mustang. Now, my force feedback settings are very strong right now. It's not meant to drift. They're more or less just for, uh, a good feel on the road, nice kind of proper traction. Same settings as before, but it's a little bit different than what I would be running on, say, the BRZ setup. We're gonna get 111 miles an hour out of the Mustang as well. Wow! I would love to see these cars go head to head. It's the exact same top speed. Excuse me, my man, appreciate that. Yep. Keep it clean. Look at that. 111. Woo! We're just scooting on by. 13th. This car is fun, though. Let's take that inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we start the braking. Hope she'll hold. Oh, yeah. We're good. Give me that outside. Okay, man. Overall, though, this is uh, this has been a lot of fun. If you guys have not driven these cars stock yet, make sure you guys go ahead and do so. These guys actually get out of your way right there. I don't know if you got out of the way for me. It kind of looked like it. I love GT Sport, though. The updates are super refreshing. Just keep us coming back and back to the game. As I said... They feel like they're a good package of cars where they're not just kind of random all over the place, but they're really thought out, and they're bringing back some really iconic beasts, and I know there's still a few that I have not driven yet. Uh, this Mustang is just smooth in every way, man. The gearing, the damn suspension, everything. Look at that. We hit top speed on there. Banging it out a bit. This is fun. This is fun, man. A little muscle car track day. Let's hold our line. Hold it. Hold it. Wow. This car is making me look good, man. It's not me. It's a car. This thing is just... It's clean, man. Look at it go. Ponies are with us today. What did I tell you? I didn't even damn stress that corner. I see me going sideways. Like, no, no, it's fine, man. The car will catch me. Yeah, she did. She did. She will. Oh. We can't get them all, right? We can't get them all. It's okay. By a split decision, I think, uh... Oh, my God. We just dodged that, man. I think by a split decision, we may have a winner here. And, uh, that's going to be... Why does everybody just damn brake checking me right there? Shit. Uh, it's going to be the Ford Mustang, but I'd love to know down below in the comments, though, who do you think would take it, the Mustang or the Challenger in a good old shootout, just drag race? I think, personally, maybe this. I mean, the power to weight just would maybe get up to that top speed a little bit more if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe somebody's already done it. I wonder if there's a way that I can do it. I'm curious, actually, right now. Got me thinking. There's got to be a way. 
Alright, we're coming up to the first carousel. A little sideways as we do it. Am I going to have to overtake this man as well? Come on now. I think I may. Nope. We're okay. We should have. 40? Really? Oh, I wanted to push that in. I wanted to push him right out of the way. I really did. Oh. I should have. He's just an AI. This ain't AI racing. If I had to pick one for the next race, it would be the Mach 1. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry if you guys are uh, heavy Challenger fans. I mean, I'm a Challenger fan. Shit, man. I love Dodge. But, um, damn, I don't know, it just, I think the Mustang's gonna take it on this one for today, just by sheer fun alone. It was very, very agile, it held its line, it was able to get up to the speed, I think, a little bit faster than the Challenger, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what it felt like. Ooh, I got a daily workout, let's go! What am I getting? Oh my god. Give me that NSX. I'll take the NSX. No, I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna get something that I'm gonna never drive. Son of a bitch. At the Zagato. Alright. Alright. 288 for a little bit of mileage exchange. Uh, we got 345, 501, 569, and then the maximum 636. I'm doing it. That was so stupid, but I did it. Oh. Alright. Now, with all that being said, we're going to definitely need a better transmission. Hold all this damn extra power up here. So let's bring up top speed a little bit. And we're going to leave everything the way she stands. Put a little bit of power on it. It's like, okay, let's go. Mind you, I didn't upgrade the differential. So that should have probably been done. But I think we should be okay. As long as I'm just very easy. As I say that, I'm all over the road. That's great. Chasing our damn dad up front, man. Look at that. Wait up, dad. Woo! Oh, man. I almost hit my dad right there. <laughs> now, we're actually keeping up, though, which I'm very surprised about. I actually didn't think about... Oh, yes! We're gonna get the pass! A little bit dirty. Heard some collisions. Pass my own dad, man. Take care. Oh, we got this man up here. All this money with no damn brains. Oh, that got air. Yeah. Just, just, just drive your car, man. He's so slow. Take him on the outside. Jeez, I thought I lost it. Only had five gears, yep. 141 now, top speed. These guys, yep. I don't understand why the AI is so timid. They're on the hardest difficulty I can do. We're just going to slide right into them. That's what we do here. We drift into the bed if we can't get around them. Just kidding, I don't do that, but. Oh yeah, we got some serious power though. Like, we can just easily clear through these people. Oh yeah, and then easily crash too. Well, I think I've seen what I need to see here for today. I gotta give it up to the Mustang, man. Really just kinda took me right off of what I was originally thinking at the start of this video. However, though, I personally love the Challenger. I mean, there's no hard feelings against it. Oh, so... But, I mean, hands down, though, both cars are just beautiful. I would love to own either one of them if I had the opportunity. Obviously, for the right price, right? These aren't damn $30,000 vehicles. You'd probably get one of these brand new now. Well, not brand new. You know what I mean, though. Restored, sorry. Uh, for, what do you think? Maybe, like, 60 to 70 Maybe a little bit more in mint condition. I don't know. I'm just spitballing right now, but... I do a little bit of Kijiji surfing sometimes for old muscle cars, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. I'm a browser on Kijiji, I'll tell you that, though, man. I window shop on that shit all the time. And, uh, Grand Truth was Sport, man. Big things with these updates. Excited to see the next patch. I know it's not for about another month or so, but I do believe that they have another, what, 30 cars left to roll out? And I'm pretty hyped, man. I, you know, I'm slowly getting back into GT Sport. 
Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing more consistent episodes for you guys, some open lobbies, and uh, start getting some tunes dialed in with these cars. But Fnatic CSL Elite, fantastic wheel for today. Link will be found down below if you guys would like to pick one up yourself. And other than that, you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below. Gran Turismo Sport, I'm out. <laughs>